Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about standalone solar PVPT connection model for water pumping application. So this is a model we are developed for standalone solar PVPT connection model for water pumping application. So this model consists of uh, two part one is standalone two inverter and then uh, we have induction motor load. So this induction motor load going to be act as a water pump. So that means the speed of the induction machine right won't be uh, squared by using this block and then it's multiplied with the gain and then it's given to the mechanical torque input for the induction machine okay so then this induction machine going to act as a water pump that means it going to act as a centrifugal uh, pump concept okay and then here we have standard pv inverter so when go inside that we have solar pv array boost converter with mbpt control and then a grid inverter with the harmonic filters and a transformer so this inverter will be con controlled by means of this inverter control okay so next we have to see about pv array so here you can see that uh, so this is a pv array so single panel having a power rating of 14 watts and then the open circuit voltage here is 85.3 volt and then voltage at maximum power point is 72.9 and charge circuit current is 6.09 amps and current at maximum power point is 5.69 so here we are using 7 string in uh, series so that means 72.9 into 7 that means 72.9 into 7 the voltage are around is 510 volt okay and then we have to calculate number of valve string here so for example we are, i am going to consider five that means uh, the panel pvr is here is designed for five kilowatt so i'm going to use five e power three divided by seven into the single panel voltage into and then on the current maximum power point is 5.69 okay so 5.69 so here you can see that here we are considered two parallel string okay that means 7 into 72.9 into 5.69 into 2 so here we are considered the power rating of the panel is 5.8 kilowatt okay so the rating of the panel here is 5.8 kilowatt and then here we are using boost converter okay so here we are going to convert this uh, boost converter input that means 510 volt to here we have to convert to uh, 1000 volt right so for that here we have the boost converter uh, with the EPPT control so here we are measuring the volt, uh, PV voltage and the current and then it is going to be processed via MPPT so this MPPT MPPT here we are using is incremental conductance MPPT okay that means here we have to calculate and uh, di by v dv here you have to calculate i by v okay and then you have to add here both will be added here and then process via uh, integral controller right and then it will be generated the duty cycle right change in duty cycle so this change in duty cycle point b uh, added with the initial duty cycle and then it will finally provide the actual duty cycle so this duty cycle going to be processed via pedulum generator this pedulum generator generate the pulse for the boost converter and the boost the voltage from 500 to 1000 volt okay and then this output of this boost converter is going to be connected with the neutral point clamped in inverter and the harmonic filter and transformer this neutral point point clamp converter will be controlled by means of this inverter control so inside this inverter control here we are going to measure the PV measurement, right? Then we got to measure the PV, little like PV power and the current. And then here we have PV. See here you have to measure PV voltage and current, and here we have PV power. So this PV power is going to be converted to reference speed by using this gain value. Okay, so this gain value is for converting PV power into reference speed, and then here we are measuring the speed speed of the induction machine so this reference speed is compared with the actual speed of the induction machine so here we are getting the error speed so the error speed will be processed via PED controller 
so the speed controller will be generated the frequency that mean operating frequency for that inverter in order to control the speed of the induction machine here we are applying v bar of control right so based upon that frequency we are going to generate the three phase sinus arrival form so it will be act as a v bar of control concept okay so based upon frequency we are generating the three phase sinus arrival form that the frequency of the sinus three phase sinus arrival form the voltage amplitude going to be controlled by means of the the output from the pd controller then the three phase sinus side wave form going to be processed via modulating block so this modulating block will be generated the controlled voltage for that neutral point clamped inverter so the control that mean uh, control voltage from that inverter control is going to control this neutral point converter not to supply the power to the induction machine so here we are going to test the model with the uh, fixed irradiation as well as a change in irradiation condition now initially i am going to make that irradiation equal to 1000 watts from this current 25 degree celsius and then check the results of the system that means here we have to check the solar pv per induction motor power uh, and then speed of the machine electromagnetic torque of the machine and then uh, speed error and frequency of operation okay so now i am going to simulate the model and then we will check the results of the system so now the system is operated at 1000 watts per meter square and, and at 25 degrees celsius so here we are getting power is around so here you can see that around we are getting 5.5 .5 kilowatt right and then induction motor power is maintained around uh, 4 kilowatt right 4.5 kilowatt so this is uh, the speed of the induction machine right so according with the speed uh, the in power from the solar pv the speed reference command is given to that uh, inverter control so uh, because of that so here you can see that the frequency of operation is around 50 hertz so because of that the speed of the induction machine is maintained around 1500 rpm right so here is the electromagnetic torque of the induction machine for the particular irradiation temperature condition okay so next time i'm going to operate the same system with the 800 watts per meter square and then check the results so i'm going to simulate the same model with the 800 watts per meter square at 25 degrees celsius so now because of uh, that means reduction in irradiation right definitely the power extraction from the solar pv also going to be reduc uh, reduced right so here you can see that we are getting maximum power around 4 kilowatt and then induction machine is operated around 2.7 kilowatt right so this is the speed of the induction machine is maintained around uh, 1200 and that means it try to reach the 1200 rpm and then this is the electromagnetic torque of the induction machine and then here you can see that so this is a speed error so speed error try to reach to zero and then frequency of operation of the induction machines around this around this 40 hertz right next i'm going to test the same system with the change in irradiation condition so for that i'm going to connect this step input and then so initially i'm going to operate the induction machine at 1000 watts per meter square after three seconds i'm going to change the irradiation from 1000 to 800 watts per meter square and we have to check the results of the solar PV system induction machine. Okay, so now, now I'm going to simulate the model. So initially, the power of the induction that means so uh, irradiation of the solar PV system is 1000 watts per meter square. So because of that, we are getting power around. So here you can see the power of the solar PV and the power of the induction machine. So because of that we are getting solar power around 5.5 kilowatt, then 5.7 kilowatt and then the power of the induction machine is around 4, 4.2 kilowatt, right? Uh, here you can see this uh, speed of the machine is 
try to maintain at 2500 rpm and then this electromagnetic torque of the induction machine and then here you can see that this is a speed error and then this frequency of uh, inverter right operating frequency of the inverter so after 3 seconds right the reading change from 1000 watts per meter square to 800 and then we will check the results so now you can see that because of reduction in the uh, irradiation right the pv power right is maintained at around 4.5 kilowatt right and then uh, the power of the induction motor is maintained around 3 kilowatt and here you can see that the speed of the induction machine right is maintained at uh, 1200 rpm and then this electromagnetic torque of the machine and here you can see the speed error right speed error is almost to zero right and then the frequency of operation of induction machine is around 42 hertz okay so this is operation of a standalone solar pv system with induction motor for water pumping application so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe the channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye